Good morning, it is day 20 of the countertop cooking challenge and I'm so sad it's over, but it is not too late to get the menu plans and grocery lists. If you've been looking for getting um, all of your groceries done, if you're trying super hard to kind of get menu planning and dinner done every night at your house, guys, today is the day to order because it's the last day to use the code COUNTERTOP at checkout. Save 25% on these awesome menu plans and grocery lists. Um, I've put mine together in a binder. They're amazing. They will totally make your life so much easier. So I see a few folks are hopping on. Guys, as you're hopping on, if you can tell me where you're from, tell me what you're cooking tonight. We are going to be making um, slow cooker chicken and sweet potatoes and with brown sugar in the crock pot. I'm going to make an easy, easy, easy broccoli salad. So I'll show you how to make that. And then I'm so excited. We are making Southern Living Chunky Apple Cake. We are having um, a bunch of kids over tonight for the weekend, a bunch of teenage girls. And so I was trying to think of some easy recipes to pull together. So we're going to make that. Hello, Amber in Tennessee. So glad to see you on. Thank you for those hearts and likes. That helps me feel like I'm not all by myself over here. If you haven't checked out the grocery list and menu plan, this is the last opportunity to get it. Tiffany has given us a great deal this month for 25% off. You, I promise you will love them. They are as little as a dollar and 20 cents a week, a dollar and 21 cents a week. I promise you'll save that much money at the grocery store. I am so super pleased with them. I know I'm super late getting on this morning. That's because I was way behind. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that, but I wanna show you what we're making. Tell me what you're cooking tonight. I see a few folks off and on. If you can show me what you're making, that would be awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this over so you can see what we're doing over here. Hi, Megan in Houston. Hi, Jennifer in Mississippi. Oh my, I wanted to do something to my KitchenAid, but it's gonna be right there in the light. Let's see if we can move that like that. Can y'all see that pretty well? Give me some hearts and likes if you can see this. The best part is this chunky apple cake such an easy recipe um, so many easy stuff that we're making today so to make the slow cooker chicken and sweet potatoes this is so easy all you do is you put a few chicken breasts in your crock pot then you're going to peel up some sweet potatoes um, i've gone ahead and peeled them and i've cut them into chunks you're going to add in two tablespoons of brown sugar my husband's going to love this and do y'all like sweet potatoes my husband loves sweet potatoes. I am not a huge fan, but he adores them. So this is one he's going to love. So we're going to mix that butter and brown sugar together. We're going to actually pour these. I'm going to put the sweet potatoes in the crock pot. Can y'all see this? Hi, in Australia. Wow, you're here from, that's a, I can't even imagine. I would love to go to Australia one day. Then we're just going to pour that over top. You can add a little salt and pepper in. I'm gonna add just a sprinkle of salt. I don't wanna add very much, but just a smidge. And then that's it. So dinner is done. How easy was that? Like crazy easy, right? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna scoot down to the broccoli salad. And what all I've done for the broccoli salad is, this is so super simple. This is probably our favorite easy recipe. We do it a lot in the summertime because it's really, really easy. You just mix together um, a package of broccoli salad that you can pick up in the um, frozen department there. That's trying to figure out where that light is best at. Um, so you can get the broccoli salad. I put in about a quarter cup of Miracle Whip or mayonnaise, whichever one you like better. And then about a tablespoon, not even that much, about a half a tablespoon of sugar, just enough to kind of give it a little sweetness. Um, and then you're gonna take a spatula, let me get all this out. Okay. Since you're not using a whole lot, you wanna get that done. This is one of my favorite things because I don't love broccoli. Um, honestly, I don't love most uh, veggies that are cooked. I love fresh veggies, so I love fresh broccoli and fresh carrots and fresh salads, but I'm not a big fan of cooked veggies. So this is an easy way if you don't love cooked veggies or if your kids don't love cooked veggies. It's so super simple. Okay, so that is it. That's dinner is done. So simple. Somebody's in Newfoundland. Wow, that's crazy. You're a long way from over here. So next we are going to make the Southern Living Chunky Apple Cake. How many of you guys have made Southern Living Chunky Apple Cake before? It is one of my all-time favorites. If you have not made this, you're going to love it. Before we start though, First, I sprayed my pan, so I've got a 9 by 13 pan. You want to make sure to spray it well with cooking spray because it will stick. So make sure you get the sides and bottom sprayed well. Then we're going to mix together two cups 
a flower. Can y'all see this well up there? I'm hoping, let me know if you can see this. Hi, Deb in Florida, glad to see you on this morning. Okay, so we've got two cups of flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt, Oh, good. Y'all are able to see this. Thank you so much. The hearts and likes help me so much from over here. I really appreciate those. Um, a teaspoon of salt and then two teaspoons of cinnamon. So some folks have made this. Hi, Ian in Virginia. I This is one of my all-time favorite recipes. I don't make it very often, but this morning I realized that these girls were coming and I needed an easy dinner and so um, or an easy snack. So I'm going to do this and a couple batches of cookies and that'll be their desserts for tonight when they get home before their from their retreat. Okay, so there's that, so I've mixed that together. Now over here, how many of you guys have one of these apple peeler things? Do any of y'all have one of these? These are life-changing. I wish y'all could smell it. I wish we had smell vision because right now the cinnamon is smelling so good. If you know someone who loves baking, if you can hit this share this button, um, this is life-changing. I'm gonna show you how to do this apple. This is kind of a broken apple peeler. I love this thing. I did already cut two up because I didn't want y'all to get stuck just sitting watching me do this forever. But this thing will change your life. Like it's, it's pretty amazing. So you stick that on there and then literally all we're gonna do, and I will tell you this one is broken because it does not suction down anymore. I think it got stuck in the dishwasher, is my guess. But normally they suction to the full ground, which is awesome. Y'all see that? That's it. How amazing. Oh, somebody says, Chantelle, you said that your toddler is clicking the emojis. Well, I appreciate the emojis. As long as they're, even if they're not nice, as long as they're from a toddler, I don't care. So you've got three, I'm sorry, four Granny Smith apples. It's not the coolest thing ever. Yeah, I love that thing. Like, it's, it's amazing. Okay, so we've got that. So we've got the apples. And this mixed up now over here in a separate bowl. I've already um, put in a half a cup of butter that's melted. So this is a half a cup of melted butter. Now I'm gonna add in two cups of sugar. And I think Hannah's on the other side of the screen. She's gonna give you the recipe for this, which helps so much, because there's a, we've got a link to this recipe. Two cups of sugar. Um, two large eggs, which thank heavens my neighbor was home this morning because I ran out of eggs. So she helped me. If you don't know your neighbors, you need to know your neighbors for when you're cooking because it just can save your life on days like today when I didn't have any eggs and I didn't want to go to the store. Okay, so we're going to mix all that up and we're going to also add in a teaspoon of vanilla. The nice thing about this cake is you don't have to blend anything. It's just really, it's almost more like a brownie mixture, I kind of think. Okay, so we're gonna add this all in. And then I'm gonna add, so I'm gonna mix together my dry ingredients and my wet ingredients. I will tell you, this is a really thick recipe. I'm almost glad I'm doing it live because I've had friends say they've made it and they did not expect the batter to be such a thick consistency. So this way you guys can see that it is just really, really, really thick. Okay, we're gonna add this. So we're just gonna stir this all together. And it's gonna take a, it's a good arm workout for sure. Especially my butter um, had been sitting a little bit so it's definitely a little bit down. Okay, so do y'all see how thick this is? I mean, it is thick, thick, thick. I think my butter is a little, it's even a little thicker because my butter was, because um, my butter was not as melted, so I'm gonna make sure I get all the goo in here because it is feeling really thick. So if you make this, it was actually in the Southern Living cookbook uh, magazine many, many years ago, and that's where I found it. Y'all see how thick that is? Yeah, super thick. Good morning, Amy. So glad you're here today. So glad to see y'all on. And I will talk at the end about the menu plans. The menu plans that we're using um, for dinner, they are gonna be, the sale is over today on them. So I really want you to check those out if you haven't. It's 25% off. I don't think she's gonna offer this again for a while, so I want you to take advantage of it. Okay, so now what you're gonna do, so you've got that in there. Now you're gonna add in your apples. 
The nice thing is the apples kind of will add a little moisture. So you're gonna feel like you are putting the thickest cake in, but I promise it's gonna be perfect, I promise. So just trust me on this one. Okay, so we've added those in. Y'all see how thick this is? I mean, it is a thick, thick batter. Now we're gonna put in really thick. In fact, I think that butter not being recently heated definitely made a difference. I feel like it's still not incorporated really well. I'm going to make sure I've got it mixed well. It's so hard to do stuff on live because I'm always nervous and I'm afraid I'm not going fast enough. I would be bored. I don't want y'all to be bored, I guess. That's the thing. Okay, but do you see this is a really, really, really thick, thick batter? It's a little bit better. If Had I melted my margarine just before going on live, that would have been better, but I went over to get my eggs for my neighbor, so it's really, really, really thick, but it's gonna be fine. And you're gonna probably look at this thing, Laurie, there's no way this is gonna work. I will take a picture later and work, and it will work. And you can also um, see the, the finished product over at the link at Passionate Penny Pincher will give to you. So you're just gonna press this down. Like I said, it's almost like a brownie. It is really thick this morning. I've never made it so thick, but I think it's because that margarine wasn't melted. So funny. I'm trusting it though, it's gonna be fine especially once it bakes up. This has been one of those days. Okay, so I'm gonna move that over there and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add, make the frosting, which honestly is the best part. Can y'all see the frosting? Can y'all see? Okay, so here's the frosting. How many of you guys like cream cheese frosting? I love it. So this is one of my favorites. So for the cream cheese frosting, you need an eight ounce package of cream cheese three tablespoons margarine, we're going to mix those together. Can y'all see this? Yeah, this is the best part. So, so we've got three cups uh, or three tablespoons of butter, eight ounce package of cream cheese. We're gonna mix this together, and someone had a great tip. My KitchenAid's mixer, the um, stand is not going to the bottom, and someone suggested that I readjust the screws from the side. I haven't done it yet, but I think it's gonna help. I'm gonna do this one more time. And then we're gonna add in one and a half cups of powdered sugar. An eighth a teaspoon of salt. Oop, that's a little bit too much. We're just gonna do a little bit. And a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, so y'all see this? This is the best stuff ever. Like I said, because my poor KitchenAid, I have got to fix this thing. Or get, someone said there's a paddle you can also get. I need to order the paddle because it just doesn't go quite to the bottom, so I have to do this quite a bit. scrape it one more time because I want y'all to see it um, and if you you can always add an extra powdered sugar or milk if it's not the consistency that you want it to be um, this should be fine once it's done. Guys, this is, somebody just said this cake is so good. It is the best. It's from Southern Living. I, you cannot beat this cake. It is so yummy. I'm gonna try to pull this all off. There we go. Super simple.
simple. I probably need to mix it just a little bit more, but I don't want to make y'all sit here all day and watch it. But you can see the, can y'all see that? Yeah, it's so good. So you bake the cake at, um, for 45 minutes at 350. That's it. It is done. So it is so super easy and definitely one of our favorite, like it's probably one of those standard cakes that if I'm going to make any cake when people are coming and I'm not sure what to make, that's the one that I make. So let's talk real fast about the menu plans. If you have gotten them, can y'all give me a heart or a like if by any chance you've done the menu plans? If you can leave a comment if you've done them and you like them, even if you've done them and you don't like them, I'd love to hear that feedback too. Let me know what you're thinking. I'm going to show you how organized I am over here. How many of y'all, some of you guys may have been on yesterday. What is the name of the apple dessert? The apple dessert is um, chunk, Southern Living Chunky Apple Cake. Lots of likes and hearts. I'm hoping that means y'all are doing the menu plans with me. I have loved them. And several people ask how I've been organizing them. So I'm gonna go through and I'll kind of show you guys how I've done them. Basically, what I did was I printed out the ones that I've used. Um, and, and you got them just yesterday. Oh, I'm so excited, and I hope you like them. Definitely let me know if y'all have liked them. Like I said, somebody said they just signed up for them at the end of last month. I wish I could see, I can't see the rest of the comment, I just see the first part. Um, oh, there's the link to the Southern Living Chunky Apple Cake. So what I did was I put mine in a binder, and y'all can see I have them done by color coding. So, um, or she's got them organized by color for the recipes. So each week you get um, a grocery list, a menu plan, you get all of the recipes to make what you need. The meal plan are done. Somebody says, Carolyn, you said they're awesome, you've loved them. I'm so glad to hear that, Carolyn. That makes me so happy. Um, through today only is the sale, so I really want people to sign up if you're interested because I would be bummed if you missed it. Um, I love the, somebody said they just finished making the chicken pasol stew. I wish I'd made the chicken pasol stew today. That's what I really wanted to make today. I love them because it makes my life so easy. Like tomorrow what I'll do is I'll sit down. I'm going to be doing the Whole Foods option tomorrow is the one that we're going to start for next month. So for next week what, we're, what is on the Whole Foods option is corn chowder with whole wheat rolls. Um, three bacon and chicken stuffed potatoes. I think that would sound so good. Uh, lemon pepper bow tie pasta, grilled ham and apple sa sandwiches. That one sounds amazing. And I actually have some extra ham, so I'm excited. Tangy sweet pork chops with mashed sweet potatoes and green beans. Um, chuck roast enchiladas and slow cooker banana foster pudding. So the recipes look so yummy. That's the whole foods option. Someone said, ask how the apple ham was. It was really, really good. The ham was perfect, the apples were good. I don't love butternut squash, so I'll just be honest. I didn't love a butternut squash. If I did it again, I probably would just do it with the ham and apples, um, and it was super, super simple. So um, I definitely like the ham and apples, though, but the um, I just wasn't a big butternut squash. I don't think that's my favorite food. So if you love butternut squash, I think you would love that recipe. <laughs> so if that helps. But my husband ate some, and um, yeah, it was good. And my kids ate a little bit, but they were actually running to stuff last night, so I knew they weren't going to eat them. The chicken Philly sandwiches po post Postelay. I've got to figure out how to say that, Marisa. Oh, thank you. I will. I'll work on it. I need to look it up. Postelay is how you say it. The um, the Philly chicken sandwiches with artichoke charts. They were amazing. Sharon, you asked where to get the menu plans. You get the menu plans over at the link. If you'll click the link at the top or the pins link on this post, that's going to take you right to it. Use the code countertop at checkout. I'll go through the pricing real fast. Um, Tomorrow these prices go up. So right now, uh, the the whole year is going to be sixty-three dollars. It's normally eighty-four dollars. So it's sixty-three for a whole year, which makes them a dollar and twenty-one cents a week. I know that's a long time. So some of you may say, I don't want to sign up for that. You can do it just for a month, though, for ten dollars and fifty cents right now. What I love is you can try it for a month. If you do it, you guarantee you lock in your price. So if you're paying, um, so if you're paying ten fifty, you'll stay at the price. The regular price is fourteen dollars. So I think it's definitely worth it. Someone said, Margie, you asked if you could see a finished product. Okay, so I've made this cake a million times. I have a picture of it over at Passionate Penny Pincher. So we'll put a link. I'll put. I'll take a picture, or I'll put the picture up in the um, comments here in just a second, Margie. As soon as I'm done, the apple cake is amazing. I do feel like it looked really dry this morning, but I always say that when I make it, it looks very, very dry. So um, the way that I organize the menu plans in my binder, I went ahead and I put together kind of my favorite things that I use all the time. Anna, you tried the quarterly. I think the quarterly is honestly the best option because um, you get to try it out for, you get three good months, so you can have it for three months. Then you can cancel. If you don't like it, you can absolutely cancel at any time. Um, but it's $23.25, which comes out to $1.93 per week. Um, and so it's a great, it's just a really good deal. 
Okay, somebody else, pasole. I'm gonna have to learn how to do it. How long do I cook the Thai chicken? Linda, the Thai chicken was fantastic, and you cook that one six hour, six to eight hours on low. You will love it, um, so yummy. You wish you could go back and look at all the, the recipes. You know what, someone else, we realized yesterday that I should have linked to all of the recipes for the whole month, so um, I will, we're gonna go ahead today and I will link in our post on Passionate Penny Pincher, I'll link to all of the recipes so you can see what they were. I will tell you, we've done the slow cooker and the whole foods option. Remember, if you sign up, you get all of the options. So you get the slow cooker, the whole foods, the traditional menu plans, all included. So if you say this week we wanna eat whole foods, but next week we've got a busy week and we wanna eat um, slow cooker, you can totally switch things out and get both options. I personally, I really like the slow cooker options for the convenience. My favorite, I like the food probably a little better in the Whole Foods, so that's just my honest opinion, but I love that tomorrow I'm gonna sit down for about 50, probably about 15 minutes on my computer. I will order all of my groceries through Kroger's Click List. That I'll go pick them up on Sunday, and my grocery shopping is taken care of. I feel like this has given me back two to three hours a week and so much money because we're not tempted to eat out. For us, a lot of nights we end up being tempted to eat out because we just don't have a plan, and so now I always know there's a plan. Can you look at the recipes before you decide to buy? Heather, um, what you could, we don't, I don't know if she has a place where you can look at the recipes, but I'm gonna put a list of all of the recipes we've done, and if you'll click through the Passionate Penny Pincher video, if you click on the tab videos, um, you're gonna get, you can see everything we made this month, so you can get a pretty good idea. Just to give you an idea of what we've had, I'll give you the first week of this month, so this is, y'all look how organized, I mean really, this is awesome organizing over here. So um, I organize them, I keep starting to say this and then I go, I lose my thought because I see questions. So I did organize them by Whole Foods, Crock-Pot, and Freezer Meals. You do get a set of Freezer Meals included, which I love that part. I think it's, um, that's great. Christine, thank you, yes, she does have a free week plan, so you can try it for a week and see what you think. Um, but you won't be able to use the code. You might be able to download the free one and then use the code so you can be sure to get that extra savings. Um, just an example of the slow cooker options for this month. The first week I loved, it was slow cooker jerk chicken sandwiches. They were so yummy. Round steak with vegetable gravy, it was so good. Buffalo chicken loaded baked potatoes, that's one of our favorite ones. We usually make that one anyways. Um, herb salted Italian pork roast. Uh, slow cooker chicken and dumplings, red eye barbecues in the slow cooker. She also gives directions on instant pots for about three of the recipes in the slow cooker plans each week. So you can do them in the slow cooker or the instant pot, which I think is amazing. So yeah, so many great ways. I just feel like this has really made me save a ton of money because I'm not stressing over dinner. Like I don't know about you guys, but we have, I've got three kids that go different directions. My husband doesn't usually get home till 6 or 6.30. He likes to eat dinner, like my opinion would really honestly be that we eat peanut butter. If I could have peanut butter every night and never cook dinner, I would be a really happy person. I am not somebody who loves cooking dinner. I like eating breakfast and lunch, and then I'm pretty much done for the day. I could skip dinner. But my husband and my poor children, bless them, they like to have dinner. So having this taken and taken care of and done and just having this off my list saves so much. Um, so it definitely helps. Thank y'all. I see a few folks shared the video. Thank you so much for sharing that. that I appreciate that so much. So if you're on the fence, I would just say um, the price ends tomorrow. Uh, I feel, I'm so thankful that Tiffany gave us a discount all month. I know that was a big um, thing for her to be willing to do was to give the whole thing. So the fact that she gave it to us for the month, I think has been so worth it. So, okay. So if you're looking at mine, you can see I put in a couple of our favorite recipes. Then I put my Whole Foods menu plan, which is what I'll start using next week. And what's great is I went ahead and I printed out the whole month, and I printed front to back, which is obviously way smarter than not printing front to back. So there's that. Then I've got my crock pot recipes, and these were all the ones that we used last month. And then she offers that um, freezer week as part in the crock pot recipes that totally works. Someone says, can you use a regular pressure cooker? Evie, I believe that a regular pressure cooker is the same thing as an Instant Pot. So yes, you should be able to use a regular pressure cooker without any problems. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm trying to see if there are any other questions I can go through and then I'll scoot off and let y'all get to your day. I'm going to be making a bunch of food today because like I said, I've got these kids coming. So I've got to get, I thought most of the house ready, but I don't have our plans for breakfast tomorrow yet. So let me go through these questions. I think I've got them all. Somebody said, somebody asked what, somebody, everybody, let's see, I can't read those. 
Somebody said they got the February and March plans printed. Awesome. You will love that. Um, Shelly, Stella, you said you got the year plan. I think it's so worth The year plan is definitely the best price. The year plan is $1.21 per week. If you think about how much you spend, like we spend easily if we go out to eat, we spend $40. So um, I think that makes a big difference. Oh, Melanie, you asked. Sorry, this is backwards. This is my, and you can get this. I'll give you a link to this. This is the ultimate Aldi grocery list. So if you shop Aldi very often, this is a really great list that we created for you that is all the basic things you need. So yeah, you definitely need to print this out. Um, Deborah, you asked, where can you get the menu plan? So if you click the link at the top of the post, just click um, right up at the top or the pinned link, it goes right to the menu plans. And when you click that, you want to use the code countertop at checkout. Again, the pricing is going to end today. Um, I just feel like you, for a dollar and 20 cents a week, it's so worth it. And somebody said they paid $58. Awesome. That's great. For the year plan, to be able to have all of your grocery lists and menu plans done, the thing, it just is so worth it. The other thing that I love is she does um, them by color. So if you go in, like I'm going to go to one of my menu plans. Like I'm going to show you the, the second week of this one, which I loved. Um, so you've got six menu plans each week. So six menu plans for the slow cooker. You're also going to get six menu plans for the traditional menu plans. And so like um, more meat and potato kind of food, like stuff that you would cook in your oven. And then six recipes for whole food. So you're basically getting like, I think it comes out to 72 recipes each month. So, um, oh, someone said they bought the year plan and they no longer dread cooking. Oh, I love to hear that. That makes me so happy. Jerry, you got the year plan as well. Lots of people got the year plan. Guys, it's just like you just don't have to stress over dinner. You know it's going to be taken care of. It's done. So let's say you get to the slow cooker option for week whatever it is. I think this was like week seven. Um, and your choices are French chip sandwiches, slow cooker meatballs, slow cooker Thai peanut chicken. Ham, actually, that was this week. Ham steak with slow cooker apples, chicken post soleil, however you say that. Um, slow cooker brown sh sugar chicken and sweet potatoes and then you get a dessert. So let's say you know for sure that there's no way your kids are going to eat ham steak with slow cooked apples. If you just know that's not what, not what you're going to want to get. What you want to do then is everything in the orange color, can you all see that? You just wouldn't buy the groceries on the list in orange. So it makes it really easy. I do recommend if you can print this out in color. I typically print everything in black and white but if you're going to use it very often I think buying the, um, the color, having them print in color is great because then, like I said, you can decide which ones you don't want to get. So it makes it super easy. Someone said, you're so glad you purchased the whole year, no regrets. Suzanne, I love that. I have not heard, so far, I have not heard anybody complain. I don't think that they haven't been happy with the menu plans. Also, um, are they nutritional recipes? Do they have less fat? So if you're looking for nutritional recipes, I would use the whole, cook, the whole foods menu plan option. Um, they're just really basic, simple recipes. Um, really good though. Very simple though. Not a whole lot of processed foods. And even in the slow cooker option, I didn't feel like there were whole cooker foods. Marina, that was a great question about how much do I spend on the week. So each week I spend about, it depends. I would say we have a family of five in this in January, we used the Whole Foods option, and I did the larger option, and I probably spent $80 to $100 on groceries for everything to buy, but that also included other groceries, so that was our groceries for the menu plan and then other things too. We had a ton of leftovers when we did the larger family plan, so when you log in, you'll be able to see a small family option or a large family option. Small family feeds three to four, large family feeds five to eight. Because my kids and husband do not love leftovers, we want to have just enough because they're not going to eat the other stuff. So I, this month, did the um, the larger, the smaller menu plan, and that's been plenty for us. So yeah, so I would figure to spend $80 to $100 just on the foods. Now, I will say, there is one person in our group. Um, we've got the free dinner done Facebook group. If you're not in it, please join it. It's definitely so worth, I mean, it's so worth being in that group. But um, they did say that they spent a lot more. And so I will tell you, groceries change a lot by area. I'm a pretty frugal shopper. I also have a lot of stuff on hands. Like I always have, like if I see a deal on meat or, you know, produce, anything that I can stock up on, I stock up on it. So um, she was, she spent quite a bit more, but it just depends on your family too and how much you eat. Um, my family tends to be kind of light eaters. And so that helps a bunch. And we also, and, and I'm not, and I will say, I do not pack a lot of lunches on that $100 a week. So remember that I'm not making lunches. My kids do eat school lunch. I'm probably the worst mom ever, but um, it's one area that's 
makes life easier. Michelle, you said the name of the group is Dinner's Done Facebook group. So look for Dinner's Done with an exclamation point. We'll put a link to that. It's hard to find, but um, the group is so valuable. They're super encouraging. They post their pictures of what they've made all the time. I love it. So you have a 20 and a 24 year old son. Um, if you have two older kids, if you've got four people but two are adults, you might want to use a larger family one. I've got a 16 year old, 13 year old, nine, and my nine and 13 year old are still pretty picky. So hopefully that helps. I know that's a ton, guys. I just encourage you, I don't care if you use this menu plan or not. I'm promoting it a ton right now because I know this price is gonna be done tomorrow. But um, what, whatever you do, you, it is so important to have a menu plan. It is so important to get dinner done. It will save you hundreds of dollars every single month when you choose to do it. It's so valuable and I highly recommend it. Um, Linda, the name of the free dinner face website group, it's actually a Facebook page and it's a Facebook group and it's called Dinners Done, dinner apostrophe S space done exclamation point. So it really did end up being, oh, I wish I could see Laura. I can't see your question completely. I wish I could read that. Use the large plan and have leftovers. Yeah. Peggy, I'm trying to read your questions, but they're only, I'm only, I can only see like the first six words. On Facebook maybe seven words so if they're not if I can't see it all Peggy you asked for a few pointers on something but I'm not quite sure what it is so I'm sorry I can't help you um, I just feel like anytime you can um, take care of that it's gonna save you so much money so in the end it's been worth it for us the meals on the whole meals Peggy oh some in some ideas of what the meals on the whole meal plan is yeah I can I'll open it this is, so this is next week, this is actually week two, so this won't be the one starting Monday, but the following week. This is the Whole Foods option. Slow uh, roasted chicken with garlic white and wine, butternut squash skillet and green beans, uh, crisp black bean tacos with feta and lime slaw, garlic lime flounder, roasted broccoli, Italian slaw, sausage sloppy joes, chicken and broccoli stir fry, slow cooker pasta sauce with sausage and eggplant. And also slow cooker chocolate cheesecake, which sounds amazing. So those are the Whole Foods options. Does that help, Peggy? I hope. Um, I I loved the Whole Foods options, and I loved. I really like the tradition, the slow cooker options too. But I like this Whole Foods because it's probably a little more of what we eat, and it also isn't all in the slow cooker. My family kind of gets tired of slow cooker for sure. You think it was less in January, Stella? I'm not sure. The menu plan. She actually did. I think her rate may have been a little. If, if you signed up for us when we, the first few days, we had the very best price, 25% off discount is huge. So I definitely recommend, if you're anywhere on the fence, at least sign up for three months, I would say, so you can get a good sick price. The price for three months is $1.93 a week. The price for the year is $1.21 per week if you do the year plan. Sign up just for a few days. I think it is so valuable. And Karen, you did say you think the prices, yes, her prices all over the board went um, up across the board for the year because it takes a ton of time. You can imagine how much time it takes to organize and coordinate all of these menus and then get the website running and everything else that she does. So um, the prices did go up a little bit in January. So I think this is the best price she's going to offer for quite a while. So I definitely think it is worth it. Somebody asked what we were making today. We made. And this is, we're at the very end. I know I feel like I've been talking too long, but I want to make sure to get all the questions because this is the last day we'll be talking about this. I made um, Southern Living Chunky Apple Cake, Slow Cooker Chicken with Sweet Potatoes, Brown Sugar Chicken with Sweet Potatoes. Um, the food, oh, Karen, you said you think you think the food was a little less expensive in January. Okay, that's good to know. It may vary too based on time of year. Of course, January is not a real... Um, is it still expensive. The summertime meals should be cheaper because meat tends to be cheaper in the summer, so does produce. So I feel like our, you know, we kind of are through the heaviest part of the year as far as our budgets go for groceries. So it should get cheaper. I just feel like it's so worth it um, to do it. Will she be making an app? Oh, Stephanie, I have no idea if she's making an app, but that would be fun. Darlene, you said you're gonna miss the videos. Um, we, I just started working on next week's videos. I'll tell you, I'll give you a secret of what we're doing next week. Stitch Fix open, I'm gonna open Stitch Fix and I'll probably make a recipe just because I'll be doing dinner anyways. So, but I'll definitely open the Stitch Fix on Monday. I can't remember the other things, but I'm most excited. Here's the thing that you guys who are in the Dinner's Done group that saw Miss Margaret Ann. Margaret Ann is gonna come back next Friday morning and she's gonna make biscuits and gravy with us. So Friday morning, make sure that you're on. We're gonna probably 9.30ish next Friday morning, so it should be super fun. 
Um, thanks. Oh, Karen, you're waiting on your sweaters from Sense of Style. I also got some really cute shirts from Sense of Style that they just sent me. So hopefully we'll be talking about those too. So I still love doing videos in the morning with you. I feel like I talk too long, but I also feel like it's like getting to talk with my friends every morning. Love when the menus are simple. Yeah, I love these menus are super simple. I don't feel like it's crazy extravagant stuff that um, isn't stuff we'll use. And somebody else said they love the videos in the morning. I have coming in April, we have a really fun series coming I'm super excited about, so it's only going to get better. Dinner's Done Yes is the name of the Facebook group, Carrie. Thank you all so much. I'm so glad you love the videos. Definitely get your dinner done. I'm going to pop my up my cake in the oven, and then I'll take a picture, or, and I'll send you, I'll show you guys the picture of what's going on next. You hate that you can't find, oh, breakfast sausage would be hard to find in another country. Is a pressure cooker the same as your Instant Pot? Yes, Jen, a cre an Instant Pot and a pressure cooker are the same thing. And a slow cooker, lots of people ask the difference between a slow cooker and an Instant Pot. An Instant Pot or a pressure cooker cooks fast, a slow cooker cooks slow. So please add the links for Sense of Style. I will, when we do the next Sense of Style deal, I'll definitely tell you guys about it. And like I said, we're gonna do Stitch Fix opening on Monday morning. I've got my box over there and I'm not gonna open it this weekend because I'm gonna wait and show it to you guys on Monday. So hope you guys have the best day. Fantastic weekend. Make something yummy for your family. Remember, when you do this, you are saving yourself drive going through the drive through. You're saving your kids eating at McDonald's. You are changing the way your whole family looks, and I love that. So be sure, sign up for the menu plans if you're interested. If you don't do these menu plans, there are tons of other great menu plans. Just make sure you're getting dinner done for your family. And we'll be back Monday talking Stitch Fix and maybe a few other things. Have a great, great weekend. I'll talk to you soon.